If we do nothing here at Sparta Mountain, the forest is going to continue to grow, it's going to continue to mature, but when we have disease outbreaks or pest outbreaks, that forest is going to be much more susceptible. One of the things that's happened here in the Sparta area is the hemlock, hemlock woolly adelgid has infected the hemlock trees and virtually killed all of the hemlock trees. There are no more large old hemlock trees. So that is one example of what could happen at Sparta Mountain with a new disease or a new pest outbreak if the forest isn't diverse, if it's not healthy, if there are no young trees in the environment here. Think about even trying to grow your lawn. There's only a few kinds of grass seed that are able to tolerate being under the shade. Otherwise you're restricted to a handful of seed, you know, in the open. But it's the same thing here. All these forbs and herbs, they can't grow under the shade of the canopy. So until you get light on them, you're not going to be able to support different vegetation types. I just don't think they fully understand the science that's behind this. And they're afraid of change, which I understand. But um, there comes a time where you got to get up to speed on what the research is showing you. And understand that, that uh, the old guard of preserve and leave alone is not, um, it doesn't work because Things are changing at a speed that the ecosystems can't keep up with, and they need a little help.